Opioid overdose is a problem that's all too common in Alabama, and it's responsible for the loss of far too many lives. Welcome back. I'm Connor Ward. And I'm Mike Black. But when you factor in teenagers to the opioid equation, that's where it gets not just sad, but scary. Opioid use is all too common, and as bad as it can be for adults, it can be that much worse for teenagers whose brains aren't even fully developed. When you introduce these meds, you're interrupting that ability for your brain to function. And when you're already starting off with an adolescent whose brain is not developed, um, causing it to even have further delays in functioning is very scary. Penny Baker is the Director of Clinical Services at Pinnacle Behavioral Health. She says opioid overdose is the third leading cause of death in Alabama. And as far as good news, bad news goes, she says right now the results are mixed. Opioid use and opioid addiction among adolescents seems to be declining some. However, the death from opioid use is increasing. And while some opioids become less available, what's become available on the streets is now more potent. You know, as we have had some improvements in controlling the opioids over the counter, which has declined the availability, you're having an increase in what's becoming available on the streets, and uh, it's a much different version than what was once available. Baker's best advice for parents, if you sense this problem with your kids, don't wait to act on it, because if you do, it could be too late. Once parents recognize that there's a problem, it's usually already a big problem, because usually the recognition comes when legal issues have come up or health issues have come up. To help prevent this, you can always make sure your house is opioid free. You don't leave those in your house. You know, if you have been prescribed some as a parent and you've got pills left, do not keep them at your house. And always be sure to let your kids know that there are alternatives. Know you have an option that if an opioid is prescribed to you or your child, you can say, no, I would like something else, where you don't even risk going down that slippery slope that's out there.